Hi guys, today's story is Small Saul, written and illustrated by Ashley Spires. Small Saul loved the sea. He loved its vastness, its calmness, and its blueness. He was meant to be on the water. Even as a child, he dreamed of life at sea. When he was old enough, Small Saul tried to become a sailor, but the Navy wouldn't have him. You must be this tall to join the Navy. Fortunately, pirates aren't too picky, so he enrolled in pirate college. Small Saul was hardly a natural pirate. Being rough and tough just wasn't in his nature. Arr, arr, purr. He was good at intro to swab in the deck, but he was easily distracted during treasure map and interpretation. He did well in navigation, but he lacked focus in looting, the basics. He was born to sing sea shanties, but not to hold a sword. Despite these setbacks, he was determined to graduate. Finally, after months of hard work, Small Saul earned his pirate diploma. You are a pirate. Small Saul now had a chance to travel the open seas. He just needed a, to join a pirate crew. And even though Saul was small, it looked like no one had room for him. Until a voice hollered from the opening or from the only remaining ship at port. Ahoy there, climb aboard. At last, Small Saul would be a real pirate. But it didn't take long for the other pirates to notice that something was different about Small Saul. Arr! Even the captain began to wonder about his new crew member. Small Saul knew that if he wanted to remain at sea, he would have to prove his worth as a pirate. Pirate College had taught him that there are only three things pirates care about. Their ship, being tough, and lots and lots of treasure. Small Saul needed to show that he cared about all these things as well. So he began with the ship. Small Saul decided to add some special touches to make the rusty squid a bit more homey. Sadly, his efforts failed to impress his crewmates. Next, Small Saul considered how to be tough. Since fighting wasn't for him, he decided that a tattoo would be perfect. But unfortunately, the result didn't seem to intimidate anyone. Redecorating the ship and demonstrating his fierceness hadn't worked. His only option was to get some treasure, but he wasn't sure how. Small Saul thought about how to, to find treasure while he swabbed the deck. He stewed about it through battles. He mulled over it during kitchen duty. Small Saul was so engrossed in the thought of treasure that he didn't even notice when the captain pushed him overboard. <sighs> The rusty squid sailed away and left Small Saul behind. Oh no. Soon, mold began to build up on the ship's deck. The crew was back to eating bland gruel and rat-nibbled bread. And the captains once again smelled of feet. It was pirate life as usual, and the crew, remembers, or the crew members of the rusty squid should have been happy about it. But they weren't. Even the captain couldn't adjust to the old pirate ways. And that's when they realized Small Saul may not have been your average pirate, but he had tried his best. He had made their ship a home, and just like treasure, Small Saul was rare. The crew turned the rusty squid around and rushed back towards Small Saul, hoping that it wasn't too late. When the pirates apologized for throwing him overboard, Small Saul forgave them. They were pirates after all. Throwing people overboard is just something they do. Small Saul was happy to be sailing again, and his shipmates, shipmates were happy to have him back. He was where he was meant to be, 
sailing the high seas and being a pirate in his own special way. The end.